Hello, this video will show you how to create an absence in Frontline. So the first thing you're going to do is you can go to Google and search for Frontline. From here, click on the one that says Frontline Sign-In. It will bring you to the Frontline Education Sign-In page. You should have already created your account, so you should be able to put in your username and the password that you set up the first time you clicked from that email. From here, click on the sign in with Frontline ID. Once it logs you in, you will see a calendar and you will also see down here your absences. So on your calendar, when you see blue, that is any absence that you currently have put in. The orange is going to be any days that the school is closed during the school year. And the yellow is going to be any in-service day. And that means any day that teachers are working and students are not there. So when you go to put in an absence, you are going to choose your day and you can choose it from this calendar right here down below. So maybe I wanna put in for September 7th. Okay, I can click on that day. Notice it's showing up blue here. Notice this helpful hint allows you to select multiple days individually, so I could click on the 7th, 8th, and maybe the 11th, or if I wanted to, I could click and drag across the days to say that I want something like the 11th through the 13th. I'm only going to put in one day for right now, but you can put in more than one day as long as it is the same type of absence. So if I'm going to put in for this September 11th date, I can come here and I can say that a substitute is required. If it is a day that is an in-service day, um, a substitute wouldn't necessarily be required for that day, so you could change that to no. The absence reason, there are a lot of different reasons that you may need to take an absence. Um, most popular are usually these family six days, maybe a bereavement day or um, sometimes a personal day. Notice that you can only take up to five personal days per year. Most teachers are given three days each year, but you could accumulate them and then maybe a few years down the line, you could take up to five at a time. Um, the first year and every year you are given family sick leave. This can be taken um, when you need to take sick leave. Once that family sick leave, if you have leftovers, it will actually the next year move into a sick leave or sick leave, and then you will receive the new family sick for the year. So check your Skyward account to see what you have available for any of these given categories at any time. So when I want to click or I, when I want to create my absence, I will choose my reason. For example, I will choose family sick this time. And then I can say um, how much time I need. So a lot of times you may be taking a full day if you are actually sick, okay? Or sometimes maybe you have a migraine that pops up halfway through your day and maybe you need to take a half day. Or maybe you have a doctor's appointment that you may only need to take a half day. Um, I do want to let you know that if you do take maybe two hours and do a custom instead, you will still be charged for a full day, which is four hours. So I'm going to say that I'm going to take a full day today. Um, these hours are actually going to be created based on what your school is set up to. So I am using an Albion account, so it is setting it up for the hours of Albion. Yours will be set up to the hours of your school. Next, if you need to leave any notes for your administrator or any notes to the substitute, the substitute will see them here. Okay, another option is to drag and drop maybe sub plans that you need to provide to your substitute. And you can either drag and drop them here or you can choose a file. From here, you can do one of two things. The first one is that you can create an absence and assign a sub. The second one is that you can create an absence. When you create an absence and assign a sub, 
that means that you already have a sub picked out. You have already talked to that sub. They know that they will be subbing for you for that day and you are ready to put them in as your absence and as your sub. The create absence says, I have not created, or I do not have a sub currently, but I need someone to take it. So the system will actually assign that sub for you. Many times schools will have a sub list that they like you to use. So you could talk to an administrative assistant or you could talk to other people around the school to see who they prefer and maybe get their phone numbers to talk and call them to see if they will, are willing to sub for you. So if you have someone who you would like to um, use as your substitute, you can cr um, click on the create absence and assign sub button. From there, you are able to search for a substitute. Okay, uh, many times you can um, create your preferred list after you've um, had a few subs. For now, I'm just going to click on this view list of substitutes. From here, I can go through and I can say the substitute's name that I want to. So I'm gonna look up campus and campus, I have the substitute that I want to be using. I can click on that substitute and I can click on the assign button. Once I have clicked on that, notice it says, please confirm that you have already communicated this position with the person you are about to assign. They will not receive an email confirmation saying that they are assigned to you. The only way that your substitute will see it is if they log in. So you want to make sure that you have communicated with them and that they know that they will be subbing for you on that day. Once you have done that, you can click on the assign button and it will show up for you as your absence that you have created. It will show you the day. It will show you what type of absence is here. Um, if it's a half day or full day, the time that was required. It will show you who it's been filled by, and then it will show any other information that you have provided for that absence. When you click on the home button, you will now see that that um, blue is shown right here saying that you have an absence that day, and then you can click on it. If for whatever reason you do not need that absence anymore, or maybe you need to fill it with somebody else, you can click on the delete button and re-add your absence. If you have any questions, feel free to contact your administrative assistant and they will be able to help you.